Hey guys, so this video is primarily going to be um, the first for the Bath & Body Works Winter 2015 collection. You'll notice that this is quickly following an upload of the, like all my fall purchases that I made. I uh, filmed that video like a month ago and just now getting around to uploading it. Which I am sorry for that. I know that like that's kind of behind the times. We've all been there, done that with the fall, and now we're ready for winter. But I did take the time to make the video, so I figured I'd put it out there. And hopefully you guys can still enjoy it. Or just don't watch it if you're bored with that stuff. So uh, this one, um, yeah, this... It's not going to be the extent of everything that I get for a holiday, but um, I wanted to go ahead and show you this because I'm very excited about this collection here. The minute that I saw this on the marketing of the one of the bounce back coupons, I was like, I have to have that. When is it coming out? I want it now. And I guess it's coming out this after this weekend. Um, I feel like Bath & Body Works has been very evasive about a release date for this collection. Like it appeared on a coupon that started October 5th. So it made you think that these would be out on the 5th, but they weren't. So, and at one point, I think it was last weekend or last week sometime, I went into my store and I, I asked one of the associates about these. And she's like, what are they? I've never heard of that. And I showed her the coupon because I had it in my purse. And she's like, oh, oh yeah, okay. She's like, I don't know when that's coming out. So we, <laughs> she went and got the store manager. The store manager didn't know. She's like, oh, sometime mid-October? So yeah, <laughs> that was driving me crazy. Cause I'm like, I really want these things. And last weekend I saw them go, um, go up on the website. Uh, they had a buy three, get three free. And I also had a coupon. It was, it's the free item with a $15 purchase and then you could get free shipping with a $50 purchase. Um, did I say that right? Free item with a $15 purchase, free shipping with a $50 purchase. And it ended up being like better for me to use that than like a 20% off coupon or even the $10 off a $30 purchase coupon. Cause I basically got free shipping, and then a body cream, which is $13 free. So, uh, okay, so that's that's what I did. And let's see, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and get started with these. Hey, shh. Okay, so the first one up is called Wrapped in Comfort, and this is supposed to be cashmere and almond cream. And the description says, let's get wrapped in comfort Soft cashmere, almond cream, blackberry, rose, the warmth of a glowing fire. Oh, and here's the corresponding shower gel. So beautiful packaging on these. And at first, before I put these on, I really thought that this was going to be my favorite. Um, and I do like this one a lot. It's kind of the most, it's definitely the feminine one of the three. It kind of reminds me a little bit of, it's got like that thousand wishes, um, kind of vibe going on. Part of me wants to say it's a little bit of like a secret wonderland. Mm, I can definitely see there's like a similarity with cashmere glow as well. It's not as strong though. But um, yeah, so maybe take a Thousand Wishes, Cashmere Glow, and Secret Wonderland and put them all together. Yeah, the cashmere of cashmere glow, the kind of berry, like that, that strawberry kind of smell of Secret Wonderland, and then just the general 
perfuminess of a thousand wishes and you have this scent um when i put the body cream on there's something about it that I, i'm not sure that i like on my skin and i don't know what exactly it is um but overall yeah it's a nice scent so this like i said this is kind of the feminine one there's like three different things going on with these scents cozy a sunday morning um this is soft chamomile and bergamot so this is says let's enjoy a cozy sunday morning chamomile tea fresh bergamot soft cotton curling up with a good book oops and then the corresponding shower gel and this one it turns out is probably my favorite of the three and it is the more masculine of the three scents um it does not it's not like in fact it probably would get by as like a unisex kind of scent uh yeah i wouldn't say that this smells like cologne but i don't know it is it's really nice though it's like kind of a low-key soft almost clean kind of fragrance but yeah a little bit masculine not definitely not like mahogany teakwood uh masculine but it's nice there's some like a, a citrus some woods maybe like a dash of a pepperiness um very nice it like very the scent definitely matches up with <laughs> with what's going on in the marketing here um but actually well there's no i wouldn't call this a tea kind of fragrance but it somehow fits so definitely my favorite of the three which i was kind of surprised about because i saw bergamot and i was like ooh. I don't know about that. I'm, I was worried that it was going to be, um, I think Mahogany Teakwood has bergamot in it. And actually a lot of cologne scents that I don't like have bergamot in them. So I was surprised that I really liked that one. And then next, the last one is the um, Cup of Warmth, Vanilla Chai and Biscotti. So let's indulge in a cup of warmth, Vanilla Chai, Toasted Biscotti, a sprinkle of nutmeg, delicious sips of comfort. And this one's kind of your foodie one. It really, it is a very similar to the um, marshmallow pumpkin latte body care. Very similar to that. Not as like spicy. It doesn't have as much of that ginger kind of scent, but I don't know if you smell these blindfolded next to one another i'm not sure that you would be able to tell the difference so yeah this makes more that scent makes more sense as like a chai a vanilla chai scent i always found anyway it's nice but yeah it's not i don't know it's just too similar to vanilla pumpkin or marshmallow pumpkin latte for me um but that's fine i still like it and then I also picked up this one. This is Snow Kiss Sugar. It's one of the new, uh, I guess, winter body care, holiday body care fragrances. And they had another one that I wanted to get. The it's I can't remember what it's called. It's like Frosted Citrus Woods or something. It's in green, a green packaging. But I wanted to save. I have a coupon to get a five a body cream for five dollars. So I thought that I would save that one. Um, I would save that for that one whenever it comes to the store. I just love the look of this. This is beautiful. Um, okay, so the the notes are sponge sugar, chilled coconut, vanilla orchid, snow kissed plum, and winter musk. Oh, it also says, let it snow. Revel in the beauty of winter with blissful snow kiss scents that sparkle and shine like the season. All right, so. All you people that complain about, you know, your coconut in the winter, you're going to be complaining about this one. 
Because this is like, this is coconut. Definitely coconut is the prominent note here. And I'm trying to figure out, I actually haven't used this yet. Let me put this in my hands and see what I get from it. It smells, um, I don't know. It smells like one of the many coconut body care scents that Bath and Body Works comes out with during spring and summer. There is not one thing wintry about this. Um, I couldn't tell you which coconut it smells the most like. It's maybe leaning towards the Oahu Coconut Sunset, but it's not as floral as that is. So yeah, this is, I don't know, I'm kind of disappointed in this. Why did they have to go so far coconut with this? Um, so yeah, a lot of you are probably not gonna like this. Um, it's okay for me. I was originally planning on getting the shower gel. I may skip it. So there's that one. Okay, then I picked up um, some candles. I got uh, a couple. These were, I guess, the first ones that were released in the store. I got the Fresh Balsam. I just love the label on this one. And I used to not care for Fresh Balsam, but these, like, last year, for whatever reason, I just started loving like the Christmas tree types of scents. I don't know why. Usually like for a while I wasn't a fan of them and I would actually pass over them. And last year I started enjoying them again. So, um, and I can tell I'm like already wanting to smell them now. In fact, I've been tempted to light one up. But yeah, I mean, we all know fresh balsam, so I won't spend too much time on that. Then there's vanilla snowflake. So we all know this one as well. And this was another one. When this was first released, I was so not impressed. Um, and then last year, I decided to pick it up because it started appealing to me. And now I love it. So mm, I don't know what it is. It's just like this cooling... Um, I don't know, it just, it smells delicious. And it's almost like a, I wouldn't call it, I wouldn't say it, it smells like snow, but <laughs> there's something cooling about this one. It like, I would probably want to burn this in the summer because it would make me feel like the weather's cool or something. Okay, and then this one I had ordered online um, to get me up to the 50 to get the free shipping when I got the body care. And I also picked up another buttercream icing. I put that one away and I didn't feel like digging it out. So um, it's not here, but I did want to show you the salted caramel. Love the label on this one. And here the notes are indulge on a chilly winter day with this blend of buttery soft caramel flaky sea salt and a hint of roasted chestnuts. Now, I, was thinking like I have, I can't tell you how many versions of the salted caramel scent since it was first released in like the boardwalk collection or whatever. So I was like, oh man, I don't know that I wanna get this scent again, but I do really like the label on this. So I'm gonna get it. Well, I have to say that this smells pretty different. It, this is not, this is not the same salted caramel that's been out. In fact, this really does not smell like caramel to me at all. This has, um, I don't know, like they say chestnut in here and I really think that that could be what it smells like. It's definitely more nutty. It's like a buttery, nutty kind of scent. Um, I keep wanting to say maybe I don't have it anymore, so I can't tell you, but if you guys remember, I think it was butterscotch toffee from last winter. 
this may be kind of similar to that. Although I think this is maybe a touch sweeter. So yeah, don't get this expecting that you're going to get the same salted caramel from, you know, that we've been seeing every year. To me, this is, this is different. So, um, that's interesting. I'm kind of glad it's different. I think I like it. So I'm glad to have it. And then the, the last thing that I've picked up from that's specifically holiday is the winter wonderland hand soap and the pocket back. And the description on, the, on this is winter berries, snowy vanilla and crystallized ginger fill the air. So for this one, I only got one. I didn't want to bombard myself with a bunch of soaps by doing the promotion. So, um, if you're not going to do a promotion, the soaps are the one to not do it on because I think like you save the least amount of money. Like it's, it's kind of negligible. Um, whenever they're four for 18, six for 20 or something. So I'm not, I don't feel bad about not doing the promotion on the hand soaps. Anyway, this is like a frosted berry kind of scent to me. That's what this smells like. Um, maybe similar to <coughs> quiet, the iced blackberry scent from last winter. So, uh, not completely original, but the packaging is gorgeous. Actually, look at this. I think they used the same. Is that the same tree? Can anybody tell? I have to wonder if they like recycled this. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. That one doesn't look the same. I think that one might be the same. Anyway. Um, okay, so yeah, this, this hand soap is it's okay, and the pocket back's okay. Um, I hadn't had the pocket back in this style before. I think I needed something to get me to like a $30 purchase, so. Would you be quiet? What are you even barking at? Okay, then, oh, I do have a couple more winter things. I got the, or at least one more. I got the, um, this wallflower plug-in. I thought this was really cute. And I used, what was it? It was a coupon to get, yeah, it was another one of those coupons. It's like spend $15, get a $13 item free. And this baby was $12.50. Can you believe that? So... I did this whenever the um, the wallflowers were on sale three for three fifty a piece, so I used that in the coupon to get this. Very pretty, love it. Um, the wallflowers that I got were apple pumpkin pancakes, pumpkin pie, radiant red maple. And a thousand which wishes, which I was very excited to see in wallflower form, and I hope that it's coming out in candle form. Um, okay, so that was one, and then I did this. I got this pumpkin nightlight wallflower, which I thought was really cute. Um, and that's I had I bought the the pocket back to get me up to ten dollars. And use the coupon to get a $14 item free. I got this, a Thousand Wishes uh, Fine Fragrance Mist, which I'm going to give to my mom for her birthday. Because she really <coughs> likes this scent and she's been wanting to get this. So, um, yeah, I think she'll be excited to see that. So, anyway, okay, well, that is it for now. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you know, of my description of the, um, I don't know what they're calling this collection. I hope this, you know, helped you, um, with figuring out what you might, you know, be interested in. And let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Bye.